Item number SCP-3144 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures Foundation Web Course Artists of Fave Forms Dedicated to Discussion of Professional Wrestling and Delete Any Discussions Related to Discrepancy Between Perception of Any Given Match or Other Form of Media Related to Professional Wrestling Agents are then seized the original poster and evaluate them for induction into Foundation Memetics or other departments that require a high psychic resistance score. If the individual is found unfit or rejects employment, they are to be treated with Class C amnestics. Description SCP-3144 is a mind-altering phenomenon affecting professional wrestling in all its visible forms, live performance, broadcasts, and recorded media, as well as all media documenting the lives of professional wrestlers outside of their performances, such as biographies, social media accounts, etc. Population susceptible to SCP-3144 consists of those over the average age of 14 and a psionic resistance index of under beep. Those naturally resistant to SCP-3144's effect make up approximately 0.3% of the global population untrained against mind-altering phenomena. SCP-3144 is primarily observed by the discrepancy perceived in wrestling and wrestling-adjacent media between those in the population susceptible to its effect and those immune to SCP-3144. Those affected by SCP-3144 perceive wrestling matches as considerably less violent than those unaffected, assuming most injuries to be staged and real injuries to be unfortunate occasional accidents. It is also a widely held belief among those affected by SCP-3144 that the victor of a match is predetermined in the service of a given franchise's ongoing storyline. The narrative fabricated by SCP-3144's effect is consistent amongst all affected by its mind-altering effect. No discrepancy has been recorded between memories or descriptions of wrestling matches and storylines between those affected. SCP-3144's effect on wrestling-related media manifests a similar discrepancy. Those affected by SCP-3144 perceive professional wrestlers as breaking character and describing their relationship with their wrestling partners as actors, up to the point of citing long-standing rivalries in the storyline as close friends when not wrestling. Those unaffected by the anomaly will instead perceive no difference between relationships, personalities, and motivations of a professional wrestler as demonstrated during the show and in media by or about wrestlers. Transcript Log 3144 Transcribed Collection of Media Portraying Professional Wrestling Matches or Referring to Professional Wrestling All media was transcribed twice, first by D-Class Personnel, all of which have a psionic resistance index of BEEP. BEEP points under the threshold for immunity to SCP-3144. Second, by Foundation personnel, all of which have Synonic Resistance Index of BEEP or higher. Transcript 3144-1 MKV video file documenting of the main event of BEEP Frenzy 20 BEEP recorded on April 5th, 19 BEEP Transcribed by D402684 Zero minutes BEEP in disguise as the character Sinkaras enters the stage to the audience's cheers and custom theme song. After stepping into the ring, he jumps into a turnbuckle and raises his arms, other citing louder cheering. Two minutes, twelve seconds. A loud motorcycle engine is heard. The lights dim and Sinkaras turns towards the entrance. Beep. In disguise as the character Doom Machine enters the stage riding a highly customized motorcycle which expels a fire out of its mock exhaust fumes. Four minutes, one second. The bell rings. Zen Colors and Doom Machine stare at each other for approximately twelve seconds before Doom Machine makes the first move 
grappling, seeing Palas into the ropes. 7 minutes 23 seconds. Doom Machine makes the first attempt at pinning Zen Kalas. Zen Kalas makes the pin at a two count. 12 minutes 11 seconds. Zen Kalas performs a jumping splash from the third rope. Then pins Doom Machine. Doom Machine breaks the pin near the three count. The crowd gasps audibly. 16 minutes 47 seconds. Zen Kalas accidentally Breaks the referee after narrowly missing Doom Machine. Then he is hit by Doom Machine, who steps off the ring and procures a folding steel chair. 17 minutes. Doom Machine strikes Zen Kalas in the upper back with a steel chair as the referee recovers. 17 minutes, 17 seconds. Zen Kalas recovers in time to kick Doom Machine before he is hit again, making him drop the chair. 18 minutes, 3 seconds. After having knocked Doom Machine down, Zen Kalas drags him on top of the steel chair, then performs a jumping splash again. Zen Kalas pins Doom Machine. The referee recovers just in time to deliver the three count. 18 minutes, 25 seconds. Zen Kalas is announced as the victor. The crowd cheers loudly as Zen Kalas celebrates. Doom Machine can be seen walking away into the backstage area. 19 minutes, 30 seconds. End of video. Transcript by Agent Lawler. Zero minutes, zero seconds. Deep in the skies as the character Zen Kalas enters the stage to the audience's chairs and a custom theme song. After stepping into the ring, he jumps into a turnbuckle and raises his arms, eliciting louder cheering. Two minutes, 12 seconds. A loud motorcycle engine is heard. The lights dim, and Sin Kalas turns towards the entrance. Beep in the skies as the character Doom Machine enters the stage, riding a highly customized motorcycle, which expels fire out of his mock exhaust fumes. Four minutes and one second, the bell rings. Zen Kalas and Doom Machine stare at each other for approximately 12 seconds before Doom Machine makes the first move, launching for Zen Kalas' eyes with his fingers. 7 minutes 23 seconds. Doom Machine makes the first attempt at pinning Zen Kalas. Zen Kalas breaks the pin at a two count. 12 minutes 11 seconds. Zen Kalas performs a jumping splash from the third rope, then repeatedly stomps on Doom Machine's face. Doom Machine bleeds from his nose. Zen Kalas pins Doom Machine. Doom Machine breaks the pin near the three count. The crowd gasps audibly. 16 minutes 47 seconds. Zen Kalas accidentally strikes the referee after narrowing missing Doom Machine. Then he is hit by Doom Machine, who steps off the ring and procures a folding steel chair. 17 minutes. Doom Machine strikes Zen Kalas in the back of the head as the referee recovers. 17 minutes, 17 seconds. Zen Kalas recovers in time to attack Doom Machine with a switchblade he produces from his boot, making him drop the chair. 18 minutes, 3 seconds. After having knocked Doom Machine down, Zen Kalas locks his leg inside the steel chair, then jumps on the chair from the third rope. Doom Machine's knee bends to the point of fracture. Then Kalas pins Doom Machine. The referee recovers just in time to deliver the three count. 18 minutes, 25 seconds. Then Kalas has announced us the victor. The crowd cheers loudly as Zen Kalas celebrates. In the background, Doom Machine can be seen limping away unassisted. 19 minutes, 30 seconds. End of video. Transcript 31-44-2 DVD disc containing an interview with Japanese wrestler Beep after his retirement. The timestamp dates the video to August 3rd, 2015. Transcript by D690022. How did Beep take to the idea of taking your belt at Total Mania? He hated it, hated it. We'd been friends for such a long time, he thought it wasn't fair that I had finally gone my break, was going to lose it again so soon. It had just been two months. He, he was my mentor, you know. Right. And he took it up with the company. He went and told them, 
Hey, he works hard. He deserves the belt. And they refused. It's heartbreaking. When you watch it again, he winces a little and people cheer at him after the pin. How do you take it when you left the company a year after? He was already retired by that point, I think. Yeah. He was too sick to keep on. He just wished me luck and told me to go wherever I needed. I miss him a lot. Transcript by Junior Researcher Tanahashi How did Peep take to the idea of taking your belt at Total Mania? He loved it. Bastard. We've been friends for such a long time, and I finally had my big break, and he was just going to take it with me so soon. It has just been two months. He... he was my mentor, you know. Right. And he made fun of me every chance he got. Oh, you work so hard, and you're gonna miss the belt. He'd go. Locker room, tour bus, wherever. Makes me happy when I watch it again, and he inches from that huge gash I left on his belly. How do you take it when you left the company a year after? He never went back after the injuries I gave him. He was too sick to keep on, and he never returned my calls. I wanted to make fun of him to his face so badly. Transcript 3143 Post made by Mexican wrestler Killer C. Cotico Post the night before his title match with Tagarugos in February 17th, 20 beep, on social media platform Twitter. Transcript by D305487. Gonna keep your butt again like last time in arena. Fella, keep your eyes peeled for me, KP. A dash file, digitally scanned black and white photograph of Kira Sicotito standing over Tugavogos and holding a title belt. Blood is visible on the canvas underneath Tagalvico's. Transcript by Junior Researcher Horta. Gonna kick your butt again, like last time in Arena. Bella, keep your eyes peeled for me, KP. Attached file, digitally scanned black and white photograph of Killer Sicotico standing over Tugafuco's and holding a title belt. Tugafuco's had several knives protruding from his back. Blood is visible on a canvas underneath him. Incident Report 31441 On March 21st, 20 Beep, professional wrestler Beep was injured after taking a fall from the top of a ladder onto the ring turnbuckles. Foundation agent Beep, embedded in the Beep wrestling promotion as a paramedic, attempted to perform an impromptu surgery after recognizing signs of lethal injury, but was restrained by the rest of the Beep medical team. Beep expired later that night, with the official cause of death reported as extrangulation from internal puncture damage dealt by rib fragments. Agent Beep was reprimanded for risking a secrecy breach and is pending reassignment to another project. Update! Agent Beep's reprimand and reassignment is currently under review by the Ethics Committee.